Hello. My name is Hans George Campbell. Tonight, I thought I'd show you guys um, this Stow and Go Plano case. Um, I use these cases for safely storing away my loose uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels vehicles. And they're just perfect for that. So tonight I want to show you these. And um, I'm also going to put in some older hot, some vintage Hot Wheels, you know, into the cases. And uh, while I'm putting in the Hot Wheels in the cases, I'll be talking about some of them because I do have some rare variations to show you. So yeah, I think this is going to be an exciting video tonight. So let's get started. Okay, I know a lot of you that collect Matchbox and Hot Wheels uh, vehicles that you prefer using the 48 car, uh, well the 48 compartment uh, Plano cases that are like this, but they stand up and they have a door that opens up on each side and they got the carry handle. I don't really like using those. I actually prefer to use these. Um, and I'll hold it up a little bit closer to the camera so you can read the number and read the the pertinent information. You know, so you too can order these. You know, to, you can get these yourself. But um, yeah, the I order these online. I usually get two. Uh, the last week of every month, I, I order two of them. Because, you know, just to make sure I have these in stock. Um, they usually cost, the, the normal retail price for these is between $8 and $12. And I do not recommend you pay more than that. There are a lot of people that are buying these cases up. And they're selling them on eBay and Amazon for two, three, four times what they paid for them. You know, the normal retail price. And so I recommend that you do not buy from these people. Do not support their greed. Um, if you spend some time looking on the internet, I'm sure you can find these cases uh, for under ten dollars, just like I did. Yeah, you know, I buy. I spent, I think, uh, slightly less than ten bucks, under ten bucks for each one of these cases. And they're good quality. I like them. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to put some vintage Hot Wheels cars uh, in this case here and uh, yeah I'll throw that in the garbage later but anyway now some of you you like to use these cases you hang them up on the wall like that you just pop this cover off and hang them up on the wall like that you know I do not recommend that you do that. Think how much money you've spent that you have invested in your Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars collection. Do you really want to put it in something, you know, display those your car collection in something like this? No. These are great for storing loose cars. They're great for that. And that's what I'm using them for. You know. But if you want to display your cars like on the wall where you can show your cars to other collectors that might come over they want to look at your collection I recommend that you either build nice display cases out of wood with sliding glass doors or have someone build them for you okay or buy some of the higher quality acrylic uh, display cases with the hinged dust cover you want to keep dust off of your collection okay dust is the number one destroyer of the paint jobs and the tampo graphics on Matchbox and Hot Wheels vehicles. It causes the paint job to dull over time. Trust me, I know I've been collecting Matchbox and Hot Wheels for a few decades now, so I know what I'm talking about. 
But yeah, but these cases, they're great for storing, you know, for putting your cars in. So let me put this like that, where you can see what I'm doing. And I'm resting the... <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, all of the Hot Wheels that I'm putting in this case today, they're all vintage. They came out of vintage five packs. There was a guy on my local Craigslist. He was selling, he, he was selling 56 uh, Hot Wheels five packs for three hundred dollars and so I bought it I bought the lot from him that's 56 vintage Hot Wheels 5 packs and so some of the cars I took out that I want for my own collection the rest of my I will sell and I will at least double my money plus the cars that I keep they'll be free and clear profit but yeah anyway we got this beautiful um, was it Shelby Cobra with the opening engine hood right there, okay? You have to be delicate with the Shelby Cobra, this Hot Wheels Shelby Cobra, because the windshield is very easily broken. But that's a beautiful car. And it's got, um, yeah, I like the wheels. I didn't realize that the, that the license plate was painted. I didn't realize that the license plate was painted. But I think that's just a gorgeous car. Now, there is a rare variation or hard to find variation of this car. I'm going to show it to you in a moment. Okay, the normal variation that you find in the vintage five packs is this metallic red color. This is your, your common variation that you'll find in the five packs. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in there and I have another one right here same wheels I think the same wheels I think they all have the same wheels okay all right I have another one um, right here okay and then I have the rarer variation can you spot the difference? This is the rare variation right here. Okay, this is the rare variation. It's, it's a very subtle difference, but it's there. Now, let me put them side by side so that you can maybe see the difference. You see the difference now? This is a red color. This is an orange color or copper color. Okay. This is the rare variation. This is the one that you want to try to find. It's very hard to find this color variation. This beautiful orange or copper color. Okay. It's a real subtle color difference, but it is a difference in color. This is red. This is orange. Okay. Not many of the orange ones were made. I think what happened, there was only one run of the orange ones that were made. Uh, someone that was mixing up the paint, they didn't get the color quite right, and it turned out to be more of an orange than a red. So there was only one run of these orange ones. And um, since I worked in the industry, I know about how large the run was. It was either 5,000 or 10,000 cars. So not many of these orange ones exist. So yeah, this is the one to look out for. Okay, I just thought I'd show that show this to you today but yeah all right next up we got this beautiful red Ford stock car and these older Hot Wheels these are very heavy because not only do they have a heavy metal body I mean look how thick let me get my pointer look how thick that metal is 
the new Hot Wheels today, they might have a metal body, die cast metal body, but the metal is a lot thinner. It's not as thick as these older Hot Wheels. And then they also have a really thick, heavy metal chassis. And these cars are very nice, they're heavy, you know. But the red variation, like the Shelby Cobra, this is the standard color variation that you find in those vintage um, Hot Wheels 5 packs. This is a standard color variation. Now, sometimes the wheels would be different. I think this is what the five spoke. Okay. And again, we have another red one. Metallic red. I just love this car. It's a beautiful car. It's very heavy. Very heavy. You can tell that's mostly metal. And we have another red one, but a different wheel variation. It's got the ultra hot um, wheels. Okay, so you got to be on the lookout for that. I don't know which wheel variation is rarer, the five spoke or the ultra hots. But yeah. And then, like before, like with the Shelby Cobra, you have a rare orange or copper variation okay this is the rare color variation it's not red it's copper or an orange color slightly orange color and it's got the three spoke wheels okay it too has got that big heavy metal base you know but I'll put them side by side so you can see the difference color difference um, yeah gotta get them out of here as you can see, there's a definite color difference. This is your common one. This is your rare color variation. Only about five or 10,000 where these were made. They're only made during that first run, or that one run of cars, because they got the paint, uh, the paint slightly mixed up. And so instead of it being metallic red, it turned out metallic orange, or, or bronze or copper color, whatever, whatever you want to call that. But yeah, this is the rarer variation. And I want to show this to you today. So those of you that collect Hot Wheels, you'll know. All right, in these larger compartments like this, I tend to save those for the larger vehicles, like the trucks, which I'm going to show next. We got this... Um, this is from the Bay the vintage Baywatch Hot Wheels set. I think it's a really nice Jeep. Um, some of you won't like this fluorescent orange color, but I think it's a nice looking Jeep. The orange color does not look that good underneath the camera. It looks better in person. But this appears to have a metal body and a painted heavy metal chassis. That's all metal. Look at that. And I love it when it's painted, when the chassis is painted. Yeah, I just love this this Jeep. It's very nice. You gotta be really careful with the windshield. It's easily broken. Gotta be real careful that plus the roll bar right here, very easily broken or bent. So we'll put that there. And then I've got um, this weird looking truck here with the snow plow on the front. It's got the spare tire in the back, got your light. Uh, light bar on the top, okay. And it's like a fluorescent light green color, like a, a citrian green, like fluorescent citrian green color, okay. But this too is a heavy truck, it's very heavy. Uh, it's got the blue, uh, it's got the blue plastic. So I think these older Hot Wheels, um, this blue plastic was still being made in Hong Kong um, yeah and then real heavy real heavy uh, metal base like that look how heavy that base is it's just really nice very nice so I'll put this one right in there like that okay and then I got another um, Baywatch truck that one there 
Baywatch or Babe Watch. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. I like it. It's very nice. And it too has a metal body, very heavy metal chassis. I mean, Mattel just doesn't make Hot Wheels like this anymore. And so, personally, I usually only collect the older Hot Wheels. Um, I don't like the new Hot Wheels that much. I think they're garbage. I think they're low quality garbage. And yeah. And this one here is the same truck, only it's the more common rescue livery. But it's basically the same truck, the exact same truck. I think it even has the same wheels. Heavy metal base. You know, I just love these. These are heavy. The body is metal. The, the chassis is metal. These are heavy vintage Hot Wheels vehicles. They're real heavy. So, yeah, there's those. Okay, um, I think it's time for a quick commercial break, and I will be right back. Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell. Are you sick and tired of all the dumbasses in the checkout lines using debit and credit? Well, you can become one of the smart ones by switching to cash today. Yes, cash. It's still the best form of payment. It's easy, quick, and so convenient, too. Cash. What's in your wallet? <clears throat> All right, I'm back. Um, okay. Next up, we got these beautiful... Um, Vintage, um, what, the Chevy Nomads with the metallic red paint job. These are from a five pack. I think it's from a Chevy five pack. And to my knowledge, they all have those gold, what is it, eight spoke wheels? Eight spoke wheels. But yeah, all metal body and of course, uh, metal chassis, all metal chassis, you know, very nice. I've always liked the Chevy Nomad. So I got that. I'll put them in there. I got like five of these. Of these Chevy Nomads. I'm probably only going to keep four of them. And one of them I'll, um, I'll sell on eBay. I don't know. I might, I might keep all five of them. You know what? I'm thinking that... I want to put it like that. I want to put a different color in between these. We've got too much red. <laughs> too much red going on here. Okay. Next, we have um, even. Okay, we got this uh, Oldsmobile 442. Now, even though it's got a metal body, plastic base, I still think it's an absolutely gorgeous car with that metallic silver paint job and the way they did the orange it's got the orange interior and it's just a sharp looking car it really is a sharp looking car three spoke wheels you know so yeah I gotta have that one I think all of these have the same wheels no I spoke too soon these I think have let me see I need my magnifying glass to see some of this stuff okay um, this has the five spoke, five spoke wheels, that one there. And then this one, I think, wow, this has the eight spoke wheels. Wow, man. These are all from vintage five packs. 
Yeah, they're all from vintage five packs. Okay, and these, I think most of these Oldsmobile 442s came with the three spoke wheels like that. Yeah. Alrighty then. Um, let's see. I'm thinking that I can put this extra one here. And then I also have, okay, we've got an Oldsmobile. This um, is the Hot Wheels number one, you know, the racing team, Oldsmobile 442. I think it's got like a white interior. You know, it's a nice looking model. It's got your five spoke. Uh, five spoke wheels. Now keep in mind that I will be showing, okay, all the cars I'm showing today on this channel, I will show them all in future episodes, okay, um, on the turntable when I show different uh, models. And, and each episode will be about that particular model, you know. So you'll see all of these again close up on the turntable in full 1080p uh, AC resolution. So stay tuned for that. Um, okay, next up, we've got this beautiful gold, you know, metallic gold color with black tampo. It's a T-Bird. And it too has a lot of metal. Uh, metal body, metal chassis. It's vintage. Okay, just look at all that metal. All that metal. When's the last time you've seen a Hot Wheels car with not only a heavy metal body, but a metal chassis? Oh, yeah, baby. That is so nice. So nice. So, I'm going to put this one in here like that. And I have about four or five of these Hot Wheels Race Team Indy cars. I think they're pretty nice. They're beautiful. And metal body, of course, metal chassis. And they're nice. So I'll put this one in there like that, boys and girls. And I can close it up. There you goes. Okay. started another one. I started this one um, already. Yeah, I started this one. Yeah. And I'll show you the car, some of the cars I already put in. Uh, this is the rare variation of these cars. Um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and show it. It. But yeah, look how nice that is, isn't? Isn't she lovely? Now keep in mind, I'm gonna show all these on the turntable in future episodes, so stay tuned for that. See, heavy metal chassis, metal body. Even though it's painted with that pink chrome, it is a metal body. Oh yeah, these are nice. They're very nice. And then I've always liked these trucks. They're very heavy. They got the little motorcycle on the back, you know, uh, heavy metal body. And look at that, all that metal on the chassis. This, this truck is heavy. It is heavy. That's a lot of metal. The, truck, the Hot Wheels that are made today, they're garbage. Most of them. They're, they're, they're just garbage. They really are. I hate to say that because I love Hot Wheels, but I mainly collect the older ones. All right. Next up, we got... Remember, all of these cars I'm going to show you today, they're, from vin they're all vintage. Okay, this is the, what, the Fat Fendered 40. Heavy metal body and metal chassis. Okay, metal chassis. See, absolutely gorgeous car. It's gorgeous, man. 
And so this one, um, I think I'm going to put this. Can I put it down there? Yeah, put it down there. And then I got another one of these beautiful fat fendered 40s right there. Um, I don't know how I feel about those yellow windows, but I guess it goes well with the yellow and the tampo. So I guess that's that's okay. But again, heavy metal body, heavy metal chassis. They just don't make Hot Wheels like this anymore. They just don't, boys and girls. They, they just don't. They don't make Hot Wheels like that anymore. Alrighty then. Next up, we've got um, we've got some, uh, I think it's a Chevy stock car, the Hot Wheels number one racer, you know, the racing team um, stock car. Heavy metal body, um, heavy metal base, okay, heavy metal base, all right, front of the car, rear of the car. Now, I will show these, like I said, I will show these on the turntable in future episodes so now they did change this car this is basically the same car but the body is a thinner metal it's made out of a thinner it's a thinner die cast metal body okay it's not as thick as the older ones and it now has a plastic um, base but you also notice it has stock car looking wheels. That's one of the ways you can tell that it's the cheaper made variation. Now this I will not keep in my collection. I don't like the cheaply made ones. So I'll wind up selling this on eBay. But I just want to show you the difference. Okay, I want to show you the difference. Yeah, here's another one. This is the high quality one. I think this has different wheels. Yeah, this has different wheels. I think was that seven spoke wheels. But again, it's got real heavy, thick metal uh, body, thick metal body, and a thick metal base. It's real heavy. This car, these cars are heavy. Okay, next up. We got the Fun Car, Hot Wheels Race Team Funny Car. Now, they don't make them like this anymore. Again, Mattel Toy Company is really cheap in this car. Um, it no longer has, I, I don't think it has a die cast metal body or the, bot, the, I mean, the base. The base might be die cast metal and the top is plastic. I haven't bought any of the new version of this, but I know they changed, they cheapened it up. If the top is metal, then the bottom is plastic. Okay, and I know that this doesn't open anymore. They actually riveted it shut to where it doesn't open. But I like these older ones because they opened up like that and they're highly, you know, they're detailed. They got all that metal in there, you know. But yeah, this is a heavy Hot Wheel. Heavy car. And I got three of them. They're all the same, I think. Actually, the wheels might be different. Because this has your basic um, your basic uh, black walls, which these are my favorite wheels besides the red lines. I'll, I just like the basic Krager Mag wheels. Those have always been my favorite Hot Wheels. I mean, wheels for the Hot Wheels cars, you know. Yeah, just the, your standard Krager Mags, you know. That's what I like. And this, I think I have three different wheel variations because there's a five spoke right there. Same car, but it's a five spoke. You know, it's a five spoke. So I got three different wheel variations of that particular funny car or dragster. All right, next up we have. Um, I think this is uh, the, Volks, the Volkswagen Thing right there, 
Volkswagen thing. I think the Matchbox version looks better than this one. But that's a Volkswagen thing. And, okay, this came out of a 5-pack. And this car was changed within the same year. This variation came out early in the year. And as you can see, okay, the bumpers are part of the body. And they're made out of metal, these bumpers. Okay, they're part of the body and they're made out of metal. The bottom part, of course, is plastic. Okay. Later on that year, Mattel Toy Company, they changed the casting to where now the bumpers are part of the plastic base. Okay, the bumpers are part of the plastic base and they're now plastic. Okay. Yeah. So now they're not using as much die cast metal. They, they've really cheapened this vehicle. Now I will keep this because I'm going to be doing um, a detail episodes on these different variation cars. I have quite a few of these these cars like this that they were changed during the same year, within the same year. And so I'm going to be doing special episodes on these types of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars for that matter. So stay tuned for that exciting content. Um, okay. Alrighty, up next we have these vintage um, uh, Corvette, uh, I think these are Grand Sport Corvettes, uh, or 62 Corvettes, I think it's a 62 Corvette, with a beautiful uh, metallic emerald green paint job, and this one appears to be what, five spoke? Plastic bottom, so they already started doing plastic. I think this is from 2001, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, starting to look like around 2001, Mattel already started ch cheapening these cars. I mean, this car feels light, real light. So that means even the so-called diecast metal body is made out of real thin diecast metal. It's not thick die-cast metal body. It's a much thinner die-cast uh, metal body. And of course, the plastic base. I still like the car though. It's one of my favorite cars, so. And I got three more of, got three more of them. I think this one is a five, a five spoke car. But I do have a rarer variation of this car that I will show you. Yeah, they all appear to be five spoke, five spoke wheels. So, yeah. Now, this one is a metallic blue color. This is the rarer, hard to find variation. This was normally not in the five pack. The green one is. This is a five pack exclusive, this green one. The blue one is not. But some of these managed to get into the five packs. And this is the rarer uh, color variation. It too has the five spoke wheels, you know, plastic chassis, thin metal body, but it's the metallic blue color. That's the one that you don't find in the five packs that often. This is the, the hard to find one. So, yeah. All right, let me find three more cars. Well, I've got, okay, I've got this car that I want to show you guys. Um, and that's this. Uh, 57 Chevy okay now the previous version of this 57 Chevy was it had a metal body 
and it had a metal motor that stuck up, you know, above the hood. It had a metal motor. That was early in this year. Later on, this is from Five Pack. They're both from Five Pack. Later on in the same year, they a Mattel toy company they changed the metal body to the plastic body. That's plastic body. And they took out the motor. They removed the die cast metal motor. And it also has a plastic bottom. So they really cheapened the 57 Chevy. They really lowered the quality on this car. But it is a hard to find variation. And that's the only reason why I'm going to keep this Hot Wheel. Because normally I don't keep junk like this. I consider this junk. But it is a rare variation, a very hard to find variation, and because of that, I will keep it. So I'm going to put it right there. And let's see, I got to find two more cars to put into those other two slots. So I'm thinking that, uh, let's see. The kind of cars I want to put in those slots. Make sure they have different wheel variations. Uh, yeah, there we go. I got a couple of cars to fit in there. Put in there. How about these beautiful, beautiful? What is it? Solar, the Hot Wheels Racing Team livery, and this one. It still opens up in the back. Yeah, it still opens up in the back. Okay, the newer ones don't. They don't open up anymore. But this one does. Heavy metal body, and I love the spoiler. Yeah, clear windows, the interior. It's got what? These eight spoke, um, seven spoke wheels. One, yeah, seven spoke wheels. Okay, like that. Seven spoke wheels. Only thing I don't like about this car is it has a plastic bottom. It's still a nice car, though. I still like it. I think it's nice. I think it's real nice. So, these cars I'll put right there. Just like that. I got three of them. So, yeah. Got three of them. And there's the other one right there. It's got uh, seven spoke wheels. And, of course, the hood, you know, opens up on it. I mean, the back part opens up. It's got moving parts. <laughs> moving parts. Yeah. Okay. So this one will go right there. Like that. Okay. All right.